Before I start today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that all of the ad revenue made on this video is gonna be donated to the NHS. Saffron has organized this whole thing. She's got a bunch of YouTubers involved. I thought it was such a good idea. So yeah, we're all gonna be donating our ad revenue on today's videos. If you guys wanna take part and you wanna get involved and you wanna help out, all you've got to do is watch the adverts on today's videos, like watch them for as long as you can without skipping because the longer they're watched, the more money we can raise. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I'm doing. Let's get on with the video. Look at me today. I'm wearing some funky little pattern today. One of you guys sent me the link to this and was like, I think you're gonna really like that. You're right, I do quite like it. It's very different for me, but I do like it. It's got the little um, like symbols on it that represent the star signs. Anyway, today I am gonna be filming my everyday makeup routine for 2020. I've done one of these every single year that I've been on YouTube, so it would just be wrong to not do it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm also gonna be answering a bunch of questions as well. You guys have sent me in a load of questions. I'm gonna answer them. I have already put a little bit of concealer around here because I wanted to see if I could cover up my wound. Um, <laughs> I've had a bit of an accident. I basically smacked my head the other day on the corner of one of the um, bedside tables in the spare room. Don't ask. I was cleaning, I had an accident. Oh my goodness, I should have taken a picture after I'd done it because like a few hours later, this whole bit swelled up. I looked like a hammerhead shark. Like honestly, it was so swollen. Luckily the swelling has now gone down, but I do still have a bit of a Ugh. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, I've got a brand new sponge today. That excites me very much. My one was disgusting. So I whacked out a brand new sponge. <laughs> this is the Real Techniques. What's it called? No, I know this. I don't know this. I've completely forgotten what it's called and I've used this for years. I normally use my Revlon Col 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 are you okay? Color stay. Oh my goodness. Um, as you can see, it's an absolute mess. But ever since my video last week, I think this is going to be my new foundation that I use all the time. I don't like that though, because I'm not a bougie kind of gal. I feel like bougie doesn't suit me, but I like my Dior forever. I never thought the day would come that I'd be using Dior in an everyday makeup routine. Like what has happened to me? To be fair, it's only because I bought it for that testing expensive makeup video. I wouldn't own this otherwise, but Dior Forever in the shade 2N. Sorry, Revlon, you can, you can sit back down. <laughs> Uh, oh no, oh no. It's quite runny though. It's quite a runny foundation. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit. Oh, I need more than that, aren't I? Dab a little bit of that all over my face. I think that'll do, maybe. Um, oh, I need a question. <laughs> I need to get my first question out. Okay, someone said, are you excited for your birthday? So it's my birthday. By the time you're watching this, four days. It's my birthday on the 15th of April. The boiler has just started making a really weird noise, so um, sorry if you can hear that in the background. But anyway, it is my birthday on the 15th of April. Am I excited for it? Mm. I mean, it's gonna be a bit of a weird one, isn't it? It's gonna be a different birthday, but I feel like these days I never really get that excited about my birthday anyway, because it's just like I'm getting older. It's scary, I'm gonna be 26. <laughs> I don't think I like this foundation anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need way more than that. I'm just gonna squirt it right on my face. <laughs> oh dear, I do. Oh no. How is Alex getting on working with you? So for those of you that don't know, Alex quit his job at the start of Feb. <laughs> Feb. And he's basically sort of part-time working with me, helping me out with a few things. But then he's also looking to start an apprenticeship, hopefully. I think he's potentially got one to start in September, maybe, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, because he wanted to start something in woodwork, like that's what he's always wanted to do. So he's finally gonna do the thing that he wants to do. But the plan was to start Start, like filming some more videos out and about maybe do some slightly more adventurous things and stuff like that and have Alex help me but obviously with everything going on I haven't been able to do that so I haven't really had that much stuff for him to do to be fair and um, but obviously we could never have predicted that this was gonna happen yeah it's going good though to be honest I just really like having him around <laughs> it was also really nice at first to just have someone to go out and about with during the week because normally I would have been stuck at home on my own Monday to Friday it was so nice to just be able to get out of the house whenever we wanted and do more stuff but obviously that very quickly came to an end with everything going on but I'm excited to be able to do that again when things go back to normal. What is the main thing you get anxiety about and what do you think the cause of it is? So for me the main thing is like health related stuff it's definitely a health anxiety kind of thing and I don't know what the cause of it is. I feel like I've always kind of been this way like even as a child I always remember my mum saying you're such a hypochondriac and stuff like that um, and I think it just happened to kind of get worse in my 20s but 
yeah, for me, it's definitely like a health anxiety kind of thing. So for concealer, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer on any like blemishes and redness and stuff like that. Although I think we're okay. Like that foundation was full coverage. I, I put a lot on though, didn't I? And then I like to use my collection, Lasting Perfection, of course, on my like under eyes couldn't even think what it was then, on my under eyes and around my nose. So I'm just gonna do that. If you were going to dye your hair again, what color would you go? I tell you, I am tempted to dye my hair, or no, I'm tempted to bleach my hair, like the strips down the front. You know, a lot of people have done that recently where they have two strips that are blonde. I really wanna do that. I think it looks so cool. I keep looking at pictures of people with that hair. So I'm like, mm, I could wait until I can get mom to do it or I could do it myself, but I shouldn't, but I want to. <laughs> Should I just go for it and bleach two strands? It's only two strands, isn't it? If this video gets, <laughs> this is exactly how the blue hair started. I did a Q&A and I said, if this Q&A gets this amount of likes, I'll dye my hair blue. It's happening again, isn't it? Okay, if this video gets 12,000 likes, we'll do it. Oh no, I've been chatting for so long, the concealer dried onto my skin. Oh yeah, loads of people were asking, why are you not friends with Soph and Jazz anymore? We're still friends. Admittedly, I haven't seen them in a long time, but I feel like if everything was normal right now, I definitely would have seen them by now. But yeah, just haven't seen each other in a while, but we still talk to each other all the time. And as soon as this is all over, I'm going to see them straight away, like immediately. <laughs> what Nintendo Switch games do you recommend? Did you guys see? Did you see on my Instagram? Nintendo sent me some stuff. <sighs> it was very exciting. I'm literally gonna cherish those products forever. And when I'm old, I'm gonna find them in a drawer and be like, that was the time that Nintendo sent me something. Like, honestly, I was very excited about that. Anyway, what was the question? <laughs> what Nintendo Switch games do you recommend? So. I'm really enjoying Animal Crossing right now. I feel like everyone is, but I'm really enjoying that. Um, what was I playing before that? Oh, the Pokemon game, the Pokemon Sword. Did I get Sword or Shield? Sword, Pokemon Sword. No, Shield, Shield, I got Shield. Um, my favorite will always be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like that will always be my favorite Switch game, I think ever. I don't think anything can top it. I'm gonna be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Still using it. It just has a comforting smell about it, like honestly. Smells comforting, I don't know why. <laughs> Have you got TikTok? I do. So I think I said I downloaded TikTok in like October last year, I think. And I was just using it to scroll through it. A couple of days ago, that is not my powder. <laughs> A couple of days ago, I made an account and I haven't posted anything on it yet, but maybe I will. I just don't really know what to post if I'm honest, but I'll leave my username here. Someone said, how do you cope with your stomach condition? I feel like I've never really talked about it. I've just like briefly hinted that there's something wrong with my stomach before, but I've never really talked about what it actually is. But I think the proper name for it is gastroesophageal reflux disease or something like that. It sounds really serious though, doesn't it? I don't like that. So yeah, I have to keep my stomach acid levels as low as possible by eating a certain diet of avoiding certain foods and trying to keep my anxiety to a minimum. Cause when I'm anxious, my stomach produces more acid. Like I think anyone's does, that's like a normal thing. So when my anxiety was really bad in December and January, like recently, it made my stomach get really bad. So I had to go on some medication, which basically like shuts off your stomach acid pipes. Yeah, that's what I have to do if it gets really bad. I've only ever had to do that twice in my life, go on that medication. Usually I can keep it under control. So for contour, I like to use the Revolution Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. I just whacked out a new one because my other one, I literally use the entire thing. That's how much I like it. What's your favorite part of your makeup routine? Hmm, whatever is easiest. <laughs> Definitely not eyebrows, that is my least favorite part. Probably blush and highlight. I feel like those are two of my favorite products and you can't really go wrong with them. So they're nice and easy and they look cute. How come you privated some of your old vlogs? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I used to do um, like weekly vlogs back in, I think it was like 2016. It was a long time ago, but I deleted them. Well, I put them on private quite recently because I just found them super cringe. Like, I don't know. I feel like when I was doing those vlogs, I tried way too hard to be funny and it just came across a little bit awkward and a little bit cringe. Um, I then, well, do I need bronzer as well? Sometimes I'll then go in with a bit of bronzer as well as contour, but I feel like today I don't really need it. But if I do, I'll use a bit of the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in the shade Long Weekend. Just a little bit though, because I'm already starting to resemble a what's it. <laughs> 
And then for blush, I like to use the Kiko Sweetheart Blaked, Blaked? Nope. Baked blush in the shade Just Like Coral. It's just like a really nice pinky color. Look how cute it is. How is your mental health during this pandemic? How is the virus affecting your health anxiety? I had a lot of questions asking like how I'm coping with what's going on at the moment. I've kind of surprised myself. Like I'm somehow coping quite well with it. Even though this is literally my worst nightmare. Well, it's, it's my health anxiety's worst nightmare. I'm somehow coping quite okay with it and I don't really understand why I'm not complaining but if you told me a couple of months ago that this was coming I would have been like I can't cope with that like I can't yeah I'm dealing with it quite well whoa like don't get me wrong the whole thing is awful and it is very scary but I just thought I would be a lot worse in this situation so I've kind of proved to myself that I can deal with things better than I thought. <laughs> there have been a number of times that I've convinced myself that I'm coming down with the virus or that I've got the virus. Like I've had that virus 10 times already according to my brain. But yeah, overall I would say I'm coping with it quite well. Like I think it's partly because I was already doing a lot better mentally. Like even before all of this started, like in February around that time, I was starting to do a lot better. So I think that's definitely helped. So I'm just editing this and I feel like I forgot to say one of the most obvious reasons as to why I'm probably coping with it okay. And that's because I am lucky enough to be able to just stay at home during all of this. Like I cannot imagine the anxiety I would have if I had to like go to work during this. So any of you guys watching that are still working and literally keeping the world running during all of this, like literally you are. That is why we're all so grateful and I can't imagine what it must be like for you guys. Like you're doing a great job and and yeah, I just wanted to add that in that obviously I'm aware that I'm in such a good position and I'm so lucky and I am so grateful like more than ever. I just feel so grateful to be in the position that I'm in. So yeah, anyway. Oh dear, my voice is going. It's because I just woke up. Anyway, enjoy the video. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I hope you guys are all doing okay and... Yeah, I have a lot of makeup on. It's because I'm chatting whilst I'm doing my makeup. So I'm getting a lot more carried away and I'm just like putting loads on. Ooh, so for highlighter, it's still the same one. I've been trying to use a few different ones recently to just like use them up, but this is always going to be my favorite. My Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a glow so glowy as that glow? I'm really orange, aren't I? I feel like I've really gone heavy with the makeup here. Where's my spongy gone? Oh, hi. Are you going to start a gaming channel? Please try Fortnite. I used to play Fortnite quite a lot. I haven't played it in ages, but I used to love that game. I don't know. I don't want to start a gaming channel, but I do still really want to start like streaming on Twitch or something like that. I'm literally just waiting for our internet to get updated because we have the worst internet here. It's literally like the slowest internet that you can get. Um, But hopefully this year we're getting fiber fitted around our little streets. We'll finally have like super fast fiber internet so yeah once that gets fitted I might have to start my little twitch streaming thing because I love watching people stream on twitch so I do kind of want to start doing it myself so for eyebrows I use the benefit goof proof brow pencil in number three and I kind of use that at the front of my eyebrows and then I use a darker one this is the benefit precisely my brow in shade four I use that to like do the rest of it so these are the products that I use I am gonna do my eyebrows off camera because they literally take me about half an hour okay so eyebrows are done they are definitely not my best I feel like they're a little bit wonky but the next thing I do is I use a bit of brow gel and recently I've been using the Glossier What's it called? Glossier, is it Glossier or Glossier or Glossier? Who knows? This, the Boy Brow Brow Gel. And this is really good. Like this is good stuff. I know why it's been raved about now because I am loving it. So I just use a little bit of that and I kind of use it to like fluff the front up a bit because mine always look quite blocky. If I just kind of run this through the front, it kind of like takes away the blockiness a bit. Do you see what I mean? I feel like that has instantly made them look so much better. I don't wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis. I, I never wear eyeshadow. We all know that. So I'm now just going to move straight on to mascara. So for mascara, I like to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Either that or a bit of like Benefit Roller Lash, Benefit everything, all of them, any of them. <laughs> what really happened with your merch? Seems strange they took yours down. I think there was a bit of confusion with my merch and as to why it like suddenly disappeared. But mine was always just like a limited edition thing. I think that's how merch 
kind of goes usually, I don't really know. Um, but I think there was confusion because my merch was being sold on the Noticed website. So a lot of people thought that my merch was like one of the Get Noticed clothing lines like the other girls have, but it wasn't. It's like a completely separate thing. My merch was its own separate thing. So yeah, it was always gonna be limited edition. They just sold it on that website because I guess that was the best place for them to put it on there, like for my management to put it on that website. So yeah, nothing strange happening there. It, that was how it was meant to be. A lot of people also asked if I were bringing out more merch. Um, I would love to do it again in the future. I don't know if I'll ever be able to, but I would love to do some more. I feel like if I did it again, I don't know. A lot of people said that my designs were very simple, so I'd probably try and do something a little bit more creative. I don't know, it's difficult because obviously I designed them myself. I made the designs completely myself. I didn't have any help, so that's why they were quite simple because I am not a graphics designer. But yeah, if I was to do it again, I'm thinking maybe would I hire a graphics designer to like do some more creative stuff with it? Maybe, I feel like that could be good. Yeah, I would like to do it again. I just don't know if I'll ever be able to, but I will let you know. Obviously I'll let you know if I do. <laughs> Duh. Are you still moving house? No. <laughs> that just shows how much has changed since I last did a Q&A. Like when I did my last Q&A at the start of the year, I was just in such a like, Ugh. I was feeling so rubbish about life that I was even thinking that I wanted to move house and like start afresh. What? That would have just been so crazy when we've only been here for like a couple of years. We're not going to be moving house. We are still going to do some like redecorating and stuff like that. I do not want to move house. I'm much happier now. I love my house again now. Now that I'm feeling better, I'm loving my house again. So it's all good. And then finally for lips, I would normally just do a little bit of lip balm. I never normally really use like lip products, but if I am going to, like if I'm filming, I'll use the Soph Revolution lipstick. I usually use the one in syrup. My lips are so dry in the corners at the moment. Oh my god, I'm so crusty. I have so many crusty patches. Ew. Um, and then the final thing is a bit of setting spray. So the final questions are, how's Alex? We haven't seen him in a while. And then the other one is, how is Moon doing? We haven't seen him in a while. I love him. I'm gonna ring him and say, do you want to pop up and bring Moon with you? Also, the setting spray that I'm using is the Revolution Glass Shimmer Fix Iridescent Fixing Spray. I don't know why I've shaken it so much. It doesn't really Really need shaking. Right. Why am I still shaking it? Stop. Hello. And that is my makeup done. That is my everyday makeup routine. I mean, on an everyday basis, I don't wear any makeup, but this is the makeup I do if I'm going somewhere, if I'm filming a video. I'm really warm, I tell you, I'm actually boiling. So now I just need to wait for them to come upstairs. Hello. My last questions were, how are you and how is Moon? So I thought, we could show Moon and you. Here he is. There he is. Hello, Bubba. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how am I? I'm all right. Here he is. Oh. And how are you, Moon? He does not want to be here. Sorry, buddy. What a big chunky cat. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. I was kind of just rambling for ages and doing my makeup, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very, very soon. Oh, give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and yeah, see you soon. Bye.